BMP in London is really important and a lot of people don't really recognize what the BMP is about. They've done a pretty, well not necessarily a pretty good job, but a very, they've put a lot of effort into trying to redefine themselves and pretend they're not the party that they used to be, that they don't hold the positions that they used to. But one of the interesting things as President of the National Union of Journalists is actually what the BMP's positions on the media are. With all the attention on the media and all the attention on the ethical issues in the media, the BMP are probably one of the only organizations organizations who are calling for less accuracy, less balance and less truth in the media. Because what they've camp campaigned against is actually the things that have been published that do good in society. They want more focus on white people and less focus on black people and other, other minority groups in society. They want less balance. They want only pictures of white people in the newspapers and no pictures of anyone else. And also there's a practical question to be asked. One of the BMP's major policies is they want to repatriate people back to the country that they came from. How far back do they want to go? Because this, co this country has been a multi-ethnic country for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. So where do they draw the line? And how do they divide up families? Because again, this is a multicultural society. You, people are mixing and marrying. So are people happy that the husband of their second cousin who married somebody from Jamaica, he sent back home. But what about their kids? And what about the people who came over the Windrush generation, who've been here three generations? What about the Jewish people who came here a hundred years ago? It doesn't make any sense. You simply cannot repatriate groups of people based on their ethnic background in a country which is now a melting pot of groups and colours, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is the biggest problem with the BMP. The BMP do not recognise the beauty of diversity, which is one of the things that brought me here from Ireland. Stand up for the diversity and stop the BMP. It seems to me that I've been fighting fascists for years. Uh, in the 60s it was Colin Jordan, in the 70s it was the National Front, in the 80s and 90s it was the BNP and then the Combat 18 dropped in on the scene. Uh, and now we've got the EVL and they're all the same. We want to keep London which is a cosmopolitan city, cosmopolitan. We want it to be, we agree with multiculturalism. We think Cameron was wrong when he said that multiculturalism had failed. And, um, we're here to show that not everybody is Islamophobic, homophobic or racist. Today is the start of the Brevik trial. Um, well, he says he killed 77 people and gave the right and salute at the beginning of the trial. I think it's important that we stand together to make sure the capital stays Nazi free. Um, I think that we're under threat or attack because we've had multiculturalism even attacked by the government. And I think what we have to do is stand together in solidarity because these things cost lives. We've seen what happened to Stephen Lawrence many years ago and the, and the long time it took to get justice. I think it's important that black and white stand together, Jew and Muslim stand together, women and men stand together, gay and lesbians uh, people stand together because together we form a united group and we stop those people from being able to, um, to divide us. We've got, we face a serious problem. There's a deep recession. Um, people have been made to suffer and it's easy to build up the idea of scapegoats. But I think we can defeat racism and fascism provided we identify and stand together. On the 3rd of May, we've got a chance to get the GLA Nazi free. So let's make sure that we do that and let's make sure we stop the EDL on the 5th of May afterwards as a celebration that we've pushed back the fascism and the racism. We want to make sure the BMP are kept out of City Hall, please make sure you use your vote the right way. On the 3rd of May, you've got your chance to keep the racists and the fascists out.